Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. So for today, I'm going to show you how to make this bikini top which I made using my own pattern, okay? So I will be showing you the step-by-step -step ways on how to do this. So before we begin, let me show you first the materials that we will be using. First is we have an interfill yarn, which is um, an acrylic, okay? I bought this from Rosal Perita's store. So this is four ply. And by the way, I will show the link of the shop in the description box below. So we also have here a 3.5 millimeter hook and then a tape measure. We also have stitch marker. Actually, we'll be using two stitch markers here. Next is the knitting needle. Of course, this is used to tie the ends. We also have a pair of scissors. In creating this bikini top, the first thing I considered is measuring. So I have here 17 inches which will cover the chest and under the armpits. Okay, so let's begin. To begin with, um, I'm going to make a loop. Okay, so this is how I do it. Then create chains the length of these chains may vary according to the length of your um, bikini top okay so the one i measured my measured a while ago is 17 inches so i have to make 17 inches of um, chains okay so let's see so we just put the tape measure and then you stretch the chains and see if um uh, it is already it reaches 17 inches okay so it's perfect now for my size so let's proceed to the second row just chain one and then skip the chain you're holding okay because the chain one and the one you have skipped will be considered as one double crochet and then just make a double crochet in each of the chain until you reach the last part just keep on doing that okay i'm on my last chain now so after uh, making double crochet just create two chains which is considered as one double crochet skip the chain under that okay proceed to the second chain or double crochet and double crochet all throughout continue doing that okay so now let's count the rows we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen okay so in this bikini top you're going to make fifteen rows of double crochet plus your foundation chain which is already 16 rows but take note the rows for the double crochet must be odd number okay so i have here now the back part of your bikini top okay so we have here four rows of two double crochets and two chains with skips okay so as you can see this is how it looks like then we also have four rows of double crochets okay just put the yarn on the uh, on the other side on the first double crochet first row and then make two chains and then one double crochet on the same on the first row and then two chains skip the second double crochet Okay, make two double crochets on the third row, two chains, and then skip the next row of double crochet, then two double crochets again, and then skip two. Just do that on the following or on the succeeding rows. You, two, you make two double crochets on uh, one row and then skip on one row again. Okay, so this is how it looks. 
you must be able to create a rectangle or a small rectangle. Just keep on doing that. Chain one, uh, double crochet, chain two, and lastly we have two double crochets. Okay, so now take chain two and then turn your work. Make another chain one and then make two double crochets on the space. Chain two, two double crochets on the space. Chain two, two double crochets in the space. Okay, so just repeat the pattern. Okay, so now we have four rows of that. Let's now proceed to the rows of four double crochet okay so we have chain two okay just create chain two and then turn your work chain two is considered as one double crochet so you create another double crochet on the space yes beside the two chains so now we have two double crochets okay and just make another one double crochet on it on top of each double crochet and then two double crochets on the spaces again one double crochet on on the top of each double crochet and then two double crochets on the spaces just continue doing that and create four rows of that Okay, so we have completed the first row of double crochet. And then chain two again, turn your work. And then make more, or I mean make three more double crochets. Okay, now we have four rows of double crochet. Let's now proceed to just stretch um, this part. Okay, so now just make two double crochets and turn your work. One double crochet on the double on top of the double crochet. Okay, so you leave the first one because you have there two chains already. Okay, so just make two chains and skip the two double crochets and make two double crochets and then skip two make two double crochets you just repeat what you did on the first four rows okay so now we will be making half double crochets so what you need to do is make two chains and then create half double crochets on top of double crochets and make two half double crochets on each spaces okay so here we have half double crochet half double crochet and then on the spaces we have two half double crochets another half double crochet on top of this another half and then two half double crochets until you reach the end Okay, so we have on our last two. And there you go. Just chain one. Okay, and you can cut now the yarn.
Okay, so this is your bikini top. What we need now is to create the sleeves. Okay, look closely. Okay, so you fold it in half and then put um, sti uh, stitch markers. Okay, so you see that? Okay, so you measure that three and a half and okay, so we have four inches. Okay. So on the stitch markers, that's where we're going to start our um, chains for the sleeves. Okay, let's count it. And we have there 25 double crochets. On the 25th double crochet, we put our um, yarn. But take note, it depends or the number of uh, double crochets that you have to count depends on the length of your um, uh, bikini top. So in my part, I have here 25. Okay, so make chains of 65 that's for me but in your part i guess you have to um, measure it on the shoulder part okay so for me i have 65 okay continue creating chains So I'm done with my chains. So I have connected it on the last row of the double crochet, four double crochets. So just connect there on the last double crochet or last row of double crochet and then create um, sets of half double crochet. So this is how it would look when you wear this as you can see I have created already half double crochets on my chain so you're just going to do that until the end of the chain so that you can complete now your um, uh, sleeve okay so you see I'm doing half double crochets on these chains so just keep on doing that Okay, so I'm done with, with my half double crochets. The next is you have to skip the double crochet, uh, first double crochet and proceed to the second one and then slip stitch. After that, you create four chains. The, the first two will be for the double crochet, consider this double crochet, and then the third and fourth chains will be for the chain space. Okay, and then um, skip two and create double crochet skip two again and make two chains and then double crochet doing two chains skip two double crochet two chains skip two double crochet okay so just repeat that until you reach the la the end part of this chain so this will be the sleeve so the last thing that you're going to do is to chain two and then no more uh, no, no more double crochet just chain two and then a single crochet on the same space where you started your half double crochet for the sleeve 
to begin with your fourth row what you're going to do is just create three chains and then double crochet on the first double crochet and then chain three again double crochet on the next chain uh, next double crochet just follow the third pattern okay the third row i mean so you just have to double crochet and instead of two chains make three chains i'm almost done with my fourth row so i'm going to show you how it's um, ended okay three chains and then double crochet on top of a double crochet three chains again double crochet on top of the double crochet please look closely to what I did here so at the end of my fourth row I just chained three and then single crochet on the same stitch okay and then chain four and then double crochet again on top of the double crochet so four chains so now we're increasing on the first or on the third row we increased by two okay on the second or i mean on the fourth row we increased the chains into three and now we will be increasing it or we are increasing it into four and then on the last row we will increase into we will increase into five chains okay so you just do exactly as what you did a while ago until you reach the last part okay so this is how it looks like now we have already five chains the first chain is the the first row is the chains that um, we first did and then row two is the half double crochet and then um, row three is the double crochet and two space or i mean two chains and then fourth row is double crochet and three space and then in this row we have double crochet and three three chains so this is it so far we have created five rows from time to time you can pause for a moment and look at your work your project and see whether whether you're go, uh, doing good or not so so far this is how it should look like okay so we still have to create this row to please be reminded that on the first space we have two chains and then on the th second is three chains and then four chains so for the last of that we will be doing five okay so here this is where we will put our shell stitch okay that's why you have to create five chains and then and then double crochet on top of each double crochet okay so here's a double crochet chain five and then double crochet just continue the process creating double crochet and five chains so here it is okay i'm going to show you one more time how it's done so i have created my last five chains so you'll just have to insert that on the same chain on the same space and slip stitch okay there you see that slip stitch and create and single crochet and then 
single crochet on the first five chains then make five double crochets in this space two chains and then five double crochets again on the same space okay so continue so all in all you have five double crochets two chains and then five double crochets on the next space is we single crochet and then five double crochets again on the next space Okay, next is two chains and then another five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. So you have to single crochet on the next space and do a shell stitch again. Okay, so continue the process. Okay, so on my last chain space, I have to create um, a shell stitch. But if you ended uh, remaining two chain space, you can have a shell stitch and then one single crochet. But for me, I have here, my last chain space is for the shell stitch. Okay, so I have to create five double crochets plus two chains and then five double crochets again. And then slip stitch on the space where we put our chains okay so to, to close the uh, sleeve okay so you can cut your yarn now and then you can also um, fit this okay you can you can try this on to make sure that it fits you okay before you proceed to the second sleeve okay so look very carefully with the um, sleeve You just um, arrange that well. Okay. Um, later, we'll just have to tie the ends to make it look better. Okay, this is now your sleeve. And you'll just have to repeat the same uh, way. I'm just going to finish this other sleeve. Okay, so for the last part of this um, bikini top, we're going to create a ribbon. Okay, so first is you'll have to uh, make three chains and then make a double crochet on the first chain. Okay, and then two chains and then double crochet on the space. Just like what I'm doing here. Two chains, double crochet on the space. Two chains, double, uh, double crochet on the space. Okay, so you just have to do that until you reach the desired um, length. Okay, so for me, I needed 50 inches of this one. Okay, so I have to finish fifth, until I reach 50 inch, or I mean 50 inches. Okay, so this is our finished product. So I just have to tie the ends now and then try to fit this. Okay, so when you follow this pattern, you'll be able to create something like this. And 
finally you can wear this as your OOTD or your summer outfit you'll just have to tie the ends okay so I will show you the finished product without the ends and then to show you as well how it will look like when worn okay it looks better or shall I say best